I began to think about how it is possible to cover longer distances on one charge more comfortably and uh, aerodynamically. Since my enduro bike is full suspension one and it's equipped with the Brook uh, P70 saddle, it is enjoyable to ride. However, my butt still hurts from sitting on the bike for the whole day. In addition, there is upright position that certainly does not help to cut the wind very well. Now, without further ado, we begin. The first thing I did was remove Brook saddle since it was quite an additional uh, experiment. I attached the waterproof bag to the frame that is padded inside and it doesn't sound quite incredible or funny, I put some pillows in the backpack so lying on my back foot more comfortable and the position would be a bit higher. The first impression was exciting and completely new. The legs wanted to get tired because the legs were resting on small bolt attached to the front fork. The weather was very calm and ideal for such test. It should be mentioned that the bike weighed 75 kilos and I myself am about 100 kilos, so the first ride at 40 km per hour, with around 500-600 watt, was quite impressive. Strange as it may seem, as uh, that's when I practice uh, recommend driving for the first time, I ended up with a group of 10 people on, on recommend bikes. Unfortunately, I didn't have camera running at the moment. It was uh, just a convenience uh, because special uh, recommend bikes are very rare in traffic, and sometimes years go by and you don't see any at all. That day I covered 150 km in this position. The very next day I did more than 200 km. I started quite early in the morning when the traffic was almost non-existent. Since I have always been fascinated by abandoned houses, this time, the destination of the trip was one such complex, located near town of Tapa. Mm -hmm. 
It is also comfortable to eat and chill easily in this position. It is quite uncomfortable in normal seat. This day was a very hot summer day and any cooling of activities were welcome. A few weeks later, this time I bought along a gasoline generator and the backrest is made of strong waterproof plywood. This, to support the legs I use better solution that's not tire the legs. There was very dense fall that early morning making driving very dangerous. When the weather finally changes the drift becomes a fantastically enjoyable experience. I tried to find uh, the best solution to pull this thing from aluminium profiles. The idea was good, but look is strange and won't uh, no longer use. With this solution, there there are two ways to put your feet down: either with your feet facing forward or simply curved down. In the Pacific version, I had an old chair backrest for more comfort in mind. I also did different tests. I chose a day with medium speed wind and did the test against wind because the wind is completely normal phenomenon in my country. First, I did the traditional upright ride. For this I chose straight burn or highway and the test distance was 3.5 kilometers. The test result shows how, in the lying position, the power is lower versus the rest of the upright position. I should also be mentioned that it was evening time and the wind quietly lost its strength. There is a lot of potential in our aerodynamic position. A smaller battery can cover longer distance. More fun. Then uh, riding in this position, the feet are not even close to the pedal. So no longer cutter gases under an electric bicycle. So continuing race at 40 to 50 km per hour, this way would certainly be interest to the police. Drove in such position for total 1000 km and per luck I didn't meet any police, the police even once. One day in October, calmly doing my 150 km trip, the driving speed was not very high. Then I saw a police patrol across the wheel, so I reduced the speed exactly 25 km per hour. They were pretty fast on the same road as me and they cruised behind for me for a few minutes. I was already sweating slightly, thinking what's about to follow. Let's to be honest, my bike looks like a motorcycle. At the moment I also have a big motorcycle helmet on my head. My feet not even near the pedals. And the turn signals behind and there is a place for a number, number plate. But the place itself is not there. It was definitely a very suspicious 
Fortunately, they went their own way. Certainly, this kind of sit position is one of my favorite. If I had registered vehicle, then I would probably imagine myself cruising in such position. The aerodynamic position or just relying on your back is quite dangerous, especially at bends. It was an exciting experiment in both positions. And I was born lucky because I was not caught or detained. Without trying my luck anymore, I go back to the traditional position where my feet are on the pedal. Having taken the aerodynamic position so such, I decided to buy a special recommend bike. The videos which I will post a lot in the future. There were where there will be quite decent modification and solutions.